Hello everyone, this is Grant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the OpenShift Client Tools by Red Hat on the Mac operating system. I'm using the latest version, Lion, but this should also work on the previous version, 10.6. One thing to note, that on 10.6 and 10.7, Ruby is installed by default. We can verify that by going to the command prompt and typing ruby-v. We'll see that 1.8.7 is the version that's installed by default. That is a little bit of an older version, but it should be fine for interacting with the Red Hat client tools. Also by default, Jim is installed. So in order to install the Red Hat client tools, all we need to do is sudo gem install rhc. Type in your user password, and it should contact the correct repository, download and install the Red Hat client tools, as well as adding them to your path. Now that the client tools have been installed, let's test them out by running rhc-user-info, pass in my OpenShift username, and it's going to prompt me for my OpenShift password. I will authenticate. It'll then make a call out to the OpenShift web services and pull back a list of all of the currently running applications that I have on the Red Hat Cloud. Typically, once you have the client tools installed, you'll be wanting to deploy your own code to the Red Hat Cloud. In order to do that, you will need Git installed. By default, on the Mac operating system, Git is not installed, so we'll need to do that. Luckily, there is a package on git-scm.com for Mac OS X. We'll download the Snow Leopard disk image. That seems to work fine for me on Lion. I will download that quickly. Now that we have the disk image downloaded, I will mount that. Open up my finder window. Click on the package to install it. Go through, go through the installation wizard. Authenticate. and the installation was successful. One thing to note, by default, it does not add git to your URL without refreshing your terminal. So I will exit out of the terminal application, restart it, and now I have git available on the command line. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you have any questions about OpenShift, please visit our forums or email us at openshift at redhat.com.